Hi everyone, welcome to For The Geeks. So this is a very beautiful pick. But um, I'm not going to talk about these three rocks here or this pick in general. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a React app and how you can secure it uh, using Azure AD. Uh, so for this, you will have to install two uh, React packages. Uh, one is Azure mcell slash react hyphen react and uh, mcell hyphen browser. Uh, I will put both this in the description box below the packages that I'm installing. I have written a blog uh, uh, on the same. So I will put the link to that blog also in the description box below. So you can check out that too. Let's start by creating the react app. And yes, I will share the source code uh, in GitHub repository that URL also you can find in the description box below. I create this app and I get an error here because the name of the app can no longer contain capital letters. So I had to rename it to uh, all the work is. So uh, now you can see uh, the app, app is created successfully. So the app name is my hyphen react hyphen Azure AD hyphen app all lower case. I navigate into the react application and then install two packages. The ones I mentioned earlier, that is mcell hyphen react and mcell hyphen browser packages. These two packages are installed successfully now. Let's navigate to Azure portal and register the application. So here uh, I name the application as sample react azure ad app. I leave the rest as default, uh, but in the redirect URL I use uh, I choose single page application. And since I will be running on the local host, uh, I will give a local host URL of 3000 and then I will register the application. So once you register, you will see the application ID, which is the client ID, tenant ID, keep them handy, you will need it. And in the manage, if you click on API permissions, you will see there is Microsoft Graph user dot read permission already added. Back to my React application. I wrap my uh, app component with mcell provider. mcell provider is what we got by installing the package. I create this mcell instance uh, from public client application. This again came from mcell browser package that we installed. Same way I installed mcell provider too from mcell react package. Now let's create a new file authconfig.js. It will have all the details that we got after registering the application on Azure. That is the client ID, authority ID and the redirect URL. Let's scan all these details in this file now. I'm creating this mcell config object here, the client ID, authority ID and redirect URL. Like I said, all this comes from Azure AD because we registered our application there. And I also create one login request object that I will be using soon. It has a scope of open ID and I'll give it another scope of profile. Basically, you can enter four details here. One is open ID, which is which means you are able to authenticate the user and obtain an ID token. Then profile means it requests actor access to user's basic profile info. Then I think you can give email, which means you can get access to a uh, user's email. And then there is this user.read. This means uh, it requests access to user's profile through Microsoft Graph API. In this one, I just use open ID and profile. You can explore scopes uh, on your own in your project if you want to. So I expose the login component now. So it will return a button. When the user is not logged in, they will be navigated to this screen. And on click of this button, it will call handle login function. And I also create an instance of use mcell. And it is use mcell is coming from the package that we installed. So I have to import use mcell. And I also import login request from the auth config file we created earlier. You know how we exposed scopes uh, from login request object. So we are importing that uh, here in this file. Inside the handle login function, we have to use this instance where it will be created above and then use login pop-up function there and pass in the login request object. Instance is what we got from line four above, which calls use mcell function. Now I uh, navigate to my app component and I use use is authenticated from mcell react and also import my login component that we created recently and 
clear up all the content inside the app component and I just leave a div and what I will do here is I will check if the user is authenticated and if yes if, if the user is authenticated then I will just show a welcome message and if user is not authenticated then I will redirect the user to my login component so that's what I'm doing here I will run npm start now so I get an error here uh, and on looking at it it's because the login component I created it was outside the src directory so I did that by mistake so what I will do now is I will move it inside the src and then uh, I will update the imports for login.js so that should fix that issue now I get another error uh, it says auth of undefined so uh, it's related to uh, some configuration being missed while setting up the project and then when uh, later I checked the code I realized that uh, in my index.js where I wrap the app component between mcell provider I was missing to pass the instance property to mcell provider so I did that now I pass the MCL instance to the instance property of MCL provider. The page loads successfully now and you see the login button uh, because the user is not authenticated currently. So you click on the button, it pops up a window and uh, permissions are requested. Just read through them and accept it. So now the user is authenticated and when you navigate back to the base page, uh, on the landing page you will see the welcome to our application message that means the user is logged in so that's how you uh, leverage azure ad to secure your react app hope you guys found this video useful and if you have any queries or comments do leave in the description box below and like i mentioned i will put the uh, github source code url in the description box below and i also written a blog on the same that link also you can find in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Take care.